what's going on youtube this your boy pmg back with a new video so today the video we're going to talk about everybody heard the news about henry cavill uh not being not playing superman yes very disappointing very disappointed i'm like when you see the you see the end credit scene a black adam you see him in the suit again it's just like let's go let's go and then basically what happened was warner brothers gave james gunn the keys to kevin feige the dceu and I'm cool, I'm cool with that, but it's just like, dang, but he just came back. He just came back, did the cameo, then they say he did a cameo for the Flash movie. Now it's like all this stuff is being scrapped. So it's just, it's it's a mess. It is a hot mess. Then I'm gonna uh, pull up what Henry said. He said, I have just had a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran. And it's sad news, everyone. I will, after all, not be returning to Superman. After being told by the studio to announce my return back in October prior to their hire, this news isn't the easiest, but that's life. The changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that. James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck and the happiest of fortunes. For those who have been on my side through the years, we can mourn for a bit, but then we must remember Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists, and the examples he set for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape has passed, but what Superman stands for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all, onwards and upwards. I'm like, man, not my God. But, uh, it sucks, man, because I, I, I love Man of Steel. I just love Henry Cavill playing this role, and it's just like they hit us with the they hit us with the end credit scene for uh, Black Adam, and just to just to take a knife and ugh, get him up out of there again. I'm like, ugh, but it is what it is. Um, I don't blame I don't blame James Gunn for wanting to start fresh, like. The DCU, the DCEU, the uh, DC Extended Universe has been a mess. So him wanting to start his own thing, start fresh, I'm cool with it. But he has to be, it has to be, uh, it has to be, uh, what's the term? It has to be equal across the board. You can't, I'm like, I understand him maybe keeping his Suicide Squad and Peacemaker, I can kind of see him maybe keeping those, but uh, you got to start fresh. That means Henry Cavill is out. That means Guy Bedo is out. That means uh, Jason Moore Aquaman is out. Ray Fisher is out for Cyborg. Uh, I forgot the other actor's name. He should be out for Martian Manhunter just start fresh and me honestly my my idea would to start uh, honestly to me would to start with the batman matt reeves the batman i would start i would start there and then branch out and build it from there because the new batman's already established he's a younger he's a younger inexperienced batman so i love it i love it and that movie you already got commissioner gordon the penguin you got Alfred, you got the Joker, you got the Riddler, you got Catwoman. All these characters are already established in this movie. So I feel like you could branch off, do a Superman movie. Don't do don't do no full origin origin story. Do a quick origin sequence and then get them into get them into the cape. Um, Green Lantern, I feel like you should you should do an origin story for the Green Lantern. And I think they should go, um, I think it's John, I think it's John Stewart. Um, I think they should go that route instead. With the Flash, I think you got, you got to do an origin, an origin story. Um, the Martian Manhunter, I think you should do an origin story. Um, 
Aquaman. Aquaman, I think you should do a quick origin story sequence. Not going through all the mix. Just kind of do a quick sequence. Wonder Woman should be a quick origin story sequence. Because those characters, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, uh, Superman, have already been established because of their their standalone movies. Flash never had a standalone movie. Martian Manhunter never had a standalone movie. Green Lantern never had a standalone movie standalone movie so I feel like you should establish those characters I feel like Batman's um, Robert Patterson's Batman all the characters in his movie are established then establish Superman Green Lantern Flash Martian Manhunter Aquaman and Wonder Woman get those movies established maybe throw in some cameos here and there where it makes sense to the story they should if he gonna plan it out, they should already know when Justice League when Justice League hits, we should already kinda know and have an idea of who the villain's gonna be. They should have they should have in credit scenes, cameos, Easter eggs showing us what it's leading up to. So once we get to Justice League, it's like we know. Based off of watching all the movies, the origin stories, we know where it's leading up to. And um, I chose, um, as far as Superman, I, I had two options. You can go with Matt Bomber. He's known for American Horror Story. Um, he actually voiced Clark Kent in the, in the Superman Unbound, and he played in Magic Mike. My other choice, my second choice for Superman is Richard uh, Richard Matting. He was in Eternals and he played in Game of Thrones. He was pretty much Icarus in Eternals. So those are my two choices to play Superman. Batman, we got your boy Robert Patterson. I don't care what nobody say. I love the Batman. I got it on 4K. That's my guy. Let's see. Uh, Green Lantern. I have Daniel Israel. He's known for he's he's the main character uh, the main character in All American. I think he he could probably do a pretty good job. He got some pretty good acting skills. My second option is Keith Powers. He's playing in the new the news house party. I think he's playing the news house party that's coming out next year. And and he played in New Edition. So those are my two for Green Lantern. Then you have. Wonder Woman. I still I I I, 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 I love Gal Gadot for Wonder Woman, but hey, it is what it is. You're gonna start clean, start clean. Um, I would go with uh, my first option, Madeline. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Uh, Petris, Petris. Uh, she's better. She's known for um, the show Riverdale. Um, my second option is Lucy Fry. She's known. She's she was in Bright, and she was in Godfather of Harlem. Uh, those are my two options for Wonder Woman. For Flash, I have Enzil Egert. He, I think he was the main character in Baby Driver, if you've seen that, and he played in the Div uh, the Divergent series. My option two is. Uh, Jared Ryan. He's not really too known. He played in he played in the city as chapter two and chapter three, and he played in the younger wrestlers. But you never know. I'm, ain't no, nothing wrong with getting a fresh face in there, seeing what he can do for the role. I think you know. So those are my two options for Flash. For Martian Manhunter, I went with Lance Stanfield. He's known for. His role in Get Out, Knives Out, Uncut Gems. I think I think he he's a very talented actor. There'll definitely be a different role for him, but you know if he up to the challenge, I think he can do it. Um, who's my my second option is Nicholas Holt. He played um, he played in X Men First Class, Days of Future Past, and he played in Apocalypse. He was he played Beast. So he he already has experience when it comes to playing characters. Already got the makeup on and dressed up. So 
that is my two options for Martian Manhunter. So that's my that's my idea. If he he gonna reboot it, start with the Batman and um, give us them or give us them the origin movies with those characters. I already have I already be building a plot leading up to Justice League who you know who who the villain is going to be in Justice League going on to lead us up to there and I think we'll be in a good space because it don't make sense to okay he's going to start fresh then we're going to have a new Batman and then we still going to have Robert Patterson Batman just just kind of clean it up clean it up one Batman one Superman across the board when it comes to the movies when it comes to the TV shows you know I, I don't really care too much for the TV shows and stuff like that but as far as the DC extended universe, go on and clean it up. Why why leave that Batman over there and then have another Batman? It's it's, it's like they, they already they already been doing that. We got Ben Athlet Batman, we got Robert Patterson Batman. Then in the Flash, they were supposed they supposed to be bringing back Michael Keaton as Batman. So it's just it's too convoluted. It's too many pieces. Just kind of if you're gonna start over, clean it up. You already that that the Batman was established this year, so going so work off of that. I feel branch off of that, and we can go. But you know, like I said, it's sad to see my boy Henry Cavill not being able to play it again. I just just like studio kind of it's like uh, they they kind of they kind of did them dirty, man. It's like kind of did them dirty. So, but I'm just I'm just trying to be. I'm trying to be optimistic about it. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to rant and go off and all that stuff. I'm just, just, uh, my thing is I just want just this universe to be great. I want to be able to see all these characters in the same movie or intertwining in between each other's movies, doing cameos, doing team up movies. I want to see these interactions like they have with Marvel. Of course, I hope also with DC. I, I hope they keep. I hope they keep a darker tone. Like most of the characters, most of the characters in DC, they they pretty much have darker tones than Marvel. So it's like Superman. Okay, Superman is Superman. You, you of course, you know, you can you can light that one up. Uh, Flash, of course. Um, I feel like. Wonder Woman. The first, the first Wonder Woman was great. I just feel like they got to kind of keep the tension, tension pretty high. Yeah, you could throw in some comedic elements when it makes sense. Don't force it. Like Batman shouldn't be making no, no whole bunch of jokes. That's not Batman. Um, Martian Manhunter should be making a whole bunch of jokes. It just the only people I really see making making a joke here and there maybe Flash of course maybe Superman um, I don't know but it's it's don't 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 try to don't try to oh yeah we're gonna get people tomorrow so we're gonna try to have it have it light fluffy and fun and it's like yeah but kind of I, I feel like they kind of should stick to who the characters are and go from there. But um, we'll see, man. We'll see. It looked tough. It looked tough. So um, um, I gave you all my list of options that can play these characters. Y'all get in the comment section. Give me y'all list. Who y'all think should play? Who should play Superman? Who should play Green Lantern? Wonder Woman? Flash? Uh, Martian Manhunter? Aquaman? They also said that. Jason Momoa might be playing Lobo in um, the DC uh, EU, so that's cool. I, I, I could see them maybe keeping that, keeping some of some of the actors and actresses, and just kind of changing, changing who they character is. But I'm I'm looking forward to it though. I'm looking forward to it. But like I said, man, y'all get in the comment session. Give me y'all list of people that y'all feel like could take on these roles uh what route you think they should go like you think they should just start clean like scrap the 
scrap the the Batman, scrap the Flash movie, Aquaman, and just go clean? Or you think my idea is pretty good as far as like picking back off of um, picking back off of uh, the Batman and then just going forward there? Yeah, just let me know. We can chop it up or whatever. But until then, I'm out. Peace.